Forget Rodeo Drive. Welcome to Beverly Hills, you have arrived. In this economy, the rich and famous have a new destination, the collateral lender. At the end of the day, that's a fancy term for a pawn shop. Jordan Tabak Bank is the CEO of Beverly Loan Company, pawnbroker to the stars. The A-listers usually come into shop, the B-listers come into loan. His Beverly Hills shop is filled with fine watches, diamonds, even a Picasso. This necklace is worth 350,000 bucks. It's made up of 60 carats of diamonds plus emeralds. Thanks to tight credit at the bank, the rich are in a crunch, now offering their jewels as collateral for up to seven-figure loans. Beverly Loan usually charges 4% monthly interest, and in 70 years, has never loaned so much. Never before have we seen so many affluent individuals. We have lawyers, accountants, doctors. In this Beverly Hills garage, business is also in high gear for pawnbroker Yossi Dina. Here you have the Bentley, you have the Ferrari. Collateral he's holding for loans as high as $7 million. The money is used by clients to pay the mortgage on mansions, finance movies, or even their plastic surgery. You don't see desperation, but you can feel it. In a town where image is everything, some in the money delete just can't stand the shame of it all. They've asked to meet out here in the alley to get their loans on the sly. Patois de Sandys isn't ashamed. She made her money in real estate and stocks, but when her investments recently took a six-figure dive, she needed a bailout. Right now, money. it's better than nothing. She brought her jewelry to Beverly Loan. One, two. Three. in exchange for a $1,000 cash loan. I'm not surprised that business is booming at the pawn shop because that's the only place where the cash is flowing. Keeping those who are down from being out in Beverly Hills. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Beverly Hills.